we're drinking the same water as the dinosaurs did, so how can we have a crisis? And the answer to that is that we are using water in an unsustainable way. It may have taken thousands of years for the water to accumulate in our groundwater aquifers, but we're pumping it out in mere decades. The problem is we Americans think of water as we do the air, infinite and inexhaustible, when for all practical purposes it's very finite and very exhaustible. When you look at the national use of water in the United States, farmers use most of it. In the American West, it's between 70 and 80 percent of every state's water is used by farmers. Water is embedded in everything we eat. Flood irrigation is the traditional method where you simply open up a valve at the top of your field and let the water from the canal system percolate into the field until it's literally flooded. But you lose a lot of water through evaporation. You lose a lot of water through percolation into the water table down to the aquifer, and you, you lose a lot of water through runoff into uh, adjacent areas or into rivers. Uh, so what we need to be doing is using more efficient systems of irrigation, and there are several. Various kinds of drip irrigation and micro-irrigation that very carefully calibrate how much each plant needs and deliver exactly that amount of water to the crop. So we need to encourage, whenever possible, farmers to use water wisely and efficiently. But we need to be really clear about this. It's expensive, and many farmers are in no position to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in modernizing their on-farm irrigation system. One of the solutions is to reclaim our water, to reuse it. Right here in Tucson, about 10% of the water that Tucson Water provides goes to things like watering golf courses, turf facilities, cemeteries, parks, highway medians. Some people think that water is a God-given right and we shouldn't pay for it. I think that, it's, that there's a stewardship obligation to use water wisely. We need to look at the price of water.